The new Shortcuts app is available to download from the App Store. When launched, we can either build shortcuts from scratch or download them from the Shortcuts Gallery here. If I tap on the Create Shortcut button, I can start adding actions to build a shortcut. There's a large variety of available actions that are associated with different apps or tasks. Compiling two or more actions can then make a shortcut. To get a better look at these, let's jump into the gallery. Here you'll find pre-made shortcuts that can be downloaded to your iPhone or iPad. Here in the Essentials section, we have a Calculate Tip shortcut. Tap and it's going to tell us what it does. Tap the Show Actions button to see exactly how the shortcut was built. This one uses several different actions and variables. So, for what seems like a fairly simple process, this shortcut would be pretty complicated to build on your own. Tap Get Shortcut to download it, and it's added to my library here in the Shortcuts app. Tap on it to run the shortcut. So I'm asked what the total of my bill is. I'll say 65.25. Next, I can choose how much to tip. Tap 18% and the calculation is made for the tip amount and the total. Tap OK and the shortcut closes. Tap on the ellipsis in the upper right of the shortcut and we can again look at the actions within it. We can also add to or edit these actions. I'm going to add a 23% tip option by tapping the Add New Item button and entering 23%. After this, things get a bit more complicated. Below this tip percentage menu are all the numbers entered as a decimal. Notice that the 23% tip is added down here, but there's no decimal below it. So right now, if I run the shortcut with the 23% tip, I get a crazy high number. So we need to add a number action under the 25% tip figure here. To do so, I'm going to tap on the 20% or 0.2 number item and then add the shortcut again. It gets added to the very end of the shortcut at the bottom of the page. So I need to tap and drag this up under the 23% number. Once it's in place, then just tap on it to change to 0.23 rather than 0.2. Now if I run the shortcut, it will correctly calculate for a 23% tip. Tap on the Shortcuts Options button here, and we can show this shortcut in the Shortcuts widget, which I will now add to my widget screen. We're also able to add the shortcut to the share sheet that we see when sharing from certain apps. It won't make much sense to add this tip calculator to the share sheet though. Tap Add to Home Screen and the shortcut can be added as an app icon when shared from here in the Shortcuts app. Now I can just tap on the icon to calculate a tip. Finally, in Shortcut Settings, we can add a Siri shortcut. So I'll record the command, Calculate Tip. Now I just need to say that to Siri, and the shortcut's going to run. Calculate Tip.
Shortcuts can be deleted from my library by tapping and holding until they wiggle. Select the ones you want to remove and then tap the trash icon. Notice that shortcuts can also be copied or shared with others. There are a ton of different shortcuts available in the gallery, including shortcuts for apps like Calendar, Twitter, Photos, and even one that will instantly let you take a photo by asking Siri. So be sure to browse through here and check them out.